Envoy by Nicola Ward Never complain, never explain, as fathers have it. Or as Fitzgerald said it well, advising literary folks, don't use some mark of punctuation to exclaim. It's like laughing at your own jokes. And though I don't wish to state another person's truth, damn, even that's a lie. More truthfully, I do not care to close the door on my own truth. I want to leave the door wide open, open to new strangers. Yet, strangely, I feel compelled to craft this envoy. Not to punctuate, nor parenthesize, nor foolishly to try and set some compass path, but selfishly to try and synthesize my present sight. Poppies. Poppies have to find their height, search for light, and when a tree dies and falls, it feeds their roots, of course, but long before, above the forest floor, above the shoulders that you used to ride, above the bearded bird's nests, above the sylvan hair, where ancient arms held back the world, the canopy exposed. There is a hole. And light, before unseen, light previous and unwitnessed, light which blessed the former father, now unfiltered, feeds the child, almost to the point of poison, sun poisoning, and the sun is father to some computational obsession circular confusion, an endlessly reworded confession that only ends but is never finished. Thoughts run out, exhausted of meaning. No conclusion, just clues. Geographically, I examine where I was. Geographically, I examine where I am. Geographically, I examine where I am not. And graphically, I examine what I have done with nothing. And I try to think my way to feeling logically, psychologically, pharmacologically. But all science fails, lost in faith to face. All those shifting sands, and then colliding with a barely incidental accident. And something breaks, and I leap from a diving board into nothing, from a diving board made of nothing, from a platform that I know to be unreal even as I lean on it. And knowing this, I use the non-existent recoil to launch myself, ignoring the so-called rules of conservation, self-propelled, into this devastating insight. How little I know, how little I am. I have to start again, again. Yet again, I pass from madly quiet to quietly mad. I laugh, cry at insane legacies. I laugh, cry at the mad march of science. I laugh, cry at my deception, laughing at my lies laughing at performance anxiety, laughing at sex, laughing at absurdity, laughing at the ordinary, and coming to realize that the gods adore the ordinary, and that living and growing and godliness is emptiness, and that art is proper suffering, Singing is eternal, and so I sing to you.
imperfect, unresolved, trite, beautiful, and temporarily complete. I write.